Hi there, Eric Backer, naturopath. Thanks for tuning into my video today. Today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about hydrogenated fats or trans fatty acids. You may have heard of this term perhaps in the media or read it on a label somewhere. So let's explain a little bit about what these hydrogenated fats are. Uh, as I said, they're also known as trans fatty acids. So basically we're looking at a process of a vegetable oil where we're forcing hydrogen in under pressure. By doing this, we're creating a cheaper product. So this is the basis of how many margarines are made. We're also extending the shelf life of many different foods which incorporate hydrogenated fatty acids, like cookies, like muesli bars, uh, you know, convenience foods like this quite often. But these trans fats are also used by many takeout or takeaway places to cook foods at very high temperature to deep fry because they can be reheated again and again and are quite stable. So, but these fats are not really good for your health. They're actually shocking for your health because research has shown that they increase your LDL or low density lipoprotein or your bad cholesterol. And they also reduce your high density lipoprotein or your good cholesterol. So the LDLs are implicated in causing plaquing or, or build up around the arteries of the heart. And whereas the HDL uh, uh, are indicated in, in fact removing a lot of this arterial deposition or plaque and improving the quality of your circulation. But there are many other factors that account for heart disease too, and I'll talk about those on other of subsequent videos, particularly inflammation, which is the real cause of heart disease. So you can read a lot more about inflammation on my website, cardiodrops.co.nz, or my other website, bloodpressure.net.nz. There is also some good information on those sites regarding heart disease. So these aren't really good fats that you want to have in your diet. Saturated fats have been implicated with heart disease for a long time, but since margarine came along and these hydrogenated fats, heart disease has skyrocketed and accelerated. So my recommendations for you are to avoid hydrogenated fats. Keep away from margarines and these artificial uh, kinds of uh, fats. They're not really good for your health. Stick with real butter. Butter is excellent food. And if you're worried about salt, you can get an unsalted butter. If you're going to shallow fry or deep fry, I would recommend that you do it infrequently, but use a more stable oil, uh, like olive oil is not too bad to use if you're going to cook up a piece of fish or something like that. Some people also use uh, peanut oil. Uh, you know, there are other types of oils you can use. I'm not a big fan of deep frying foods, you know, because you do ruin food to a big degree. So my favorite oils I would use would be avocado oil, walnut oil, you know, the seed oils that are quite good to have. Sunflower oil is another oil I like to use. So try and avoid hydrogenated fats. It's interesting that McDonald's, the McDonald's fast food chain has now, uh, in New Zealand, I'm not sure about other countries, has gone to a no hydrogenated fat policy. So they don't really cook their fries in hydrogenated fats anymore. I believe they use canola oil now. So be aware that these fats are bad for your health. And if you're going to eat foods like cookies and muesli bars and, and chips and foods like this, they're often cooked in hydrogenated fats. They will increase your risk. And in fact, the Mayo Clinic believes they double your risk of heart disease over eating other forms of fat. So avoid these kinds of foods and read labels to see what percentage of hydrogenated fats are in your foods. So I hope you found this video of use to you today. Thank you.